Yo ho bro and welcome to the show. Again we are back here with the FTBB BB mod and as you might notice for those regular viewers, Kondrick is not in his usual spot of the house that I built him. Where could he possibly be? He wanted to originally when I said I put him in this little single player series of mine that he wanted to be around some uh, super circuitry stuff. Uh, super redstone circuitry and finally we have put him into the lab with some super circuitry now the lab is looking kind of different just a little bit different now this is the upper clean room of the of the lab downstairs we have the the factory the beginnings of the factory and we just put added in a couple of uh, walkways here for the important people to look down on the uh, special projects in the in the clean environment of this place just to make sure that things are going smoothly and over here Kondrick is working with uh, what are you working with well you seem to be knowing what you're doing else you wouldn't be staring so intently at this but yeah this I can't make heads or tails of this things are just blinking on and on and off on and off that one's not even blinking at all i mean it's right next to the redstone sword it should be blinking is that bad no yes speak to me well anyways uh yeah this one's blinking a little bit faster which one's wrong this is the recharge station for Dragon Star, uh, he's aboard, so he needs him some energy, and we finally have up his energy station. Kondrick is working on the circuitry. I'm going to assume that's part of the circuitry. Goodness, I just, just maddening. I don't understand this stuff. But yeah, that's his chart and recharge station. We're finally getting that along. Why is this redstone storage torch here? Is that gonna mess up everything? Everything's gonna be messed up, isn't it? What if I put it here? Is that gonna do anything? It did something, didn't it? No? Okay, onward. We're going to have a spiral staircase all the way down to bedrock, but we currently don't have that just yet because even with the Uber Super Digger, uh, it's a lot of work. Uh, we're going to have hatches that open up, and then we're going to spiral staircase down there. But uh, till then... I'm going to see if I'm going to have the uh, the staircases kind of like this, but a little bit more rusty because this is the factory section. This is the not-so-clean section. And uh, down here we're going to have uh, m some of the uh, more factory-esque mods, kind of like uh, actually add-ons, which kind of is definitely one of those factory mods, especially with its super laser beam. That's laser beam. We could put it up in the upper section, but it wouldn't really follow the theme unless we faked it somehow saying it was a lightning box I could say that it's a lightning box but let's not anywho looks better down here with all the factory stuff and we have some helpers down here making some solar panels for us so to demonstrate what happens down here I'm gonna toss in some iron and some wood and uh, uh, Gavin is going to help us out. All the things are going to pop out of here and they're going to fall down the conveyor belt and they're going to continue down to each crafter. And these guys are going to help us make the solar panels and the very much power, the power that we very much, much need for, for each section. So, we have uh, Gavin over here. And uh, this isn't what I asked for. It's better than what you asked for, isn't it? It's so mu so great. Thank you for helping me make these solar panels. You're so generous. Thank you very much. And over here we have a pulse. I know where you live. Good, then you can come on over and we can have dinner together. It wouldn't it be great? Since you already know where I live, you should come over tomorrow. Thank you very much. And over here we have Dragon Star. Your power station is up there. You will be assimilated. Oh, I'd love to have some new friends. And to be assimilated into a group of friends would be fantastic. Thank you very much for that invitation. You're so generous with your help on these solar panels and your friendship. So, factory area. We got an actual working uh, uh, redstone uh, circuitry here. We have the... Um, 
these things actually spit out the the droppers of the uh, the mirrors to go down the con conveyor belt to the next crafter and yeah it looks kind of kind of cool i mean i could have it go from one to the next to the next but it would look stupid this looks so much cooler going down a conveyor belt down a little uh dropping conveyor belt I mean, this this looks so much cooler, and it's functional. It's so cool. I love it. I love mm -hmm. these little support beams and these uh, little fans overhead. Oh, this looks so cool. Let's let's get a little bit of a light light here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. A little bit more light in this area. Okay. Uh, as I said, it's gonna go all the way down to bedrock, and we're gonna have a uh, chisel and bit uh, staircase downward because that's pretty much the only staircase that's going to work these factory blocks are fantastic and they're cheap too let's see your factory bo block it's just smooth stone and iron makes 32 of these blocks 32 fantastic little blocks and there's like three of these rows that you see in this uh little inventory thing up here not the bottom most not these two up here but all of these here are the same block they're just different uh, chisel versions of it. I mean, they 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 can all just become the same block. It's it's fantastically versatile. That is just a glitch, and for some reason it doesn't stop being a glitch, and it's always there. So yeah, everything is going to go down to bedrock and up. Um, I think this looks okay. I'm I'm st it's starting to grow on me. This uh, little uh, look through area. Uh, once it looks all the way down to a uh, bedrock, uh, I think it's going to e e look even cooler. Right now, it actually looks kind of cool. So anyways, let's go on up, and we are going to take a quick look at a couple things that I've been working on up there. So cool, cool story, bro. I have down here the uh, little XP catcher and the uh, the item collector down at the bottom of the uh, the mob farm, just right down there at the bottom of everything. Um, and I have this Ender IO liquid XP catcher, but I can't turn that liquid XP into uh, something that'll actually um, mend my pick here, because it has to actually and be in a those little bubble forms in order for me to actually repair the item. So, gosh, that's loud. So, what I've done here um, is that over in the inventory section, uh, since open blocks doesn't have the uh, XP shower anymore, I just have this item frame. Uh, what is it called? Oh, there, it's up at the top. Super XP frame. I just punch the thing, and I get a bunch of bottles of bottle of enchanting. Cool. And I just char shower myself with it. And my pick repairs. Do 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 do. And there it goes. So yeah, cool. If you if you uh, have a XP grinder in your own world. Just use this guy, and you can repair your own pick rather easily with the levels that you're getting capturing inside of those tanks. I was zooming around the map, and I gotta show you this. These trees with these radical limbs that are coming off the side of it that are just growing out of the water. I think these things are fantastic. These these roofing trees, they're f they're super cool and these uh these jungles right next to it uh these hanging cliff jungles i think these are fantastic uh the fact that two of them are just kind of like side by side i thought they was that was uh super cool too and uh this castle over here for its sheer size uh which is also part of the biome bundle pack it only has like one spawner and a few chests inside of it it's okay looking also, these cliffs are pretty cool here, too. I'm going to speed up the footage, but I thought these weird spiked mountains are really awesome. I'm in fixing some of the things around here. Uh, say these uh, stairs, and I'm uh, 
ladder, I should say, and I try to make an, a little bit more ladder-esque like. And a few thi other things, like these step boards. I took out the, uh, the wooden ladders like we have up here, the little wooden ladder rungs, to, in favor of something, oh gosh, in favor of, um, some, just some random stones that we have, some stepping stones with a little bit of, uh, dirt and moss and sand that are getting inside of the crevices and a bit of, uh, this gravel that's just kind of fallen down that we're using to get ourselves up there. I mean, and I don't need to jump at all. All it is is just, uh, steps up and I'm liking how it each one of these steps is just almost like its own little teeny little story. I love it. I just love it. I know I've mentioned this like every episode, but I'm finally getting to work on some of these bridges and finally getting to work on some of these supports. I'm loving how this map is finally coming together. I like making these teeny little paths that these villagers that lived here might uh, make from one island to another. I'm just loving how this is finally coming together. But, unfortunately, I'm not getting to um, getting to everything that I want to, especially this episode. Uh, this episode is definitely going to be a lot shorter because I have uh, other things that I've been uh, working on. And... The, those things happen to be that I've been uh, playing over on the Gophercraft server, where we finally killed the dragon. You can uh, actually see a clip of that. Shut up. Uh, you can see a clip of that over at Sky's channel. I'll send you a link, and I believe Max Rider was recording, and... Goodness. If I find anybody else on the Gopher Graph server, I'll link them as well. Uh, also, I was playing on the Seven Days to Game server, which uh, actually is where I came up with the idea for these uh, stone steps uh, and this this little these uh, that I've been putting actually everywhere around this island, not just there. Um, I've been putting it over oh man, I need to put it over here as well. I need to put it uh, in a lot of places. Um, yeah, I'm getting that server mixed up with this server and what I'm, what I'm actually doing. So, I'll show you a little bit of a clip of how things are progressing over there. Uh, also, I have been working over on the Bificraft server where everything has changed over to Season 6 now. And I'm trying to stay involved in that community because it's moving really fast. I mean, really, really fast. Within the past, like, 24 hours, things have exploded. Well, yeah, yeah, pretty much exploded on how much has gotten done. It's just mind-boggling, and I'm trying to keep my uh, effort in there as well, make sure that I'm not just sitting back and letting everybody, do let everybody do everything in there. So... A lot of other things that I've been doing, so sorry that this one has taken a back seat to it. But I did want to keep you up to date on what's happening on this little single player slash multiplayer. I'm just kind of playing with my dolls server. <laughs> also, what's been taking up my time is actually the 3D renderings of my next uh, project that I'm going to have on my main channel. And unfortunately, uh, that time is completely and utterly wasted because I don't like what's coming out. So I'm actually going to scrap the entire project and try something completely different. Sigh. Uh, so, until next time, y'all, this is the Puka, signing out.